In this lesson, we're going to discuss some common terminology you'll hear when using Unity. I've narrowed it down to the five most common terms you'll need to know. The five terms are game object, component, prefab, scene, and project. So we're going to get started in Unity, and we'll discuss our first term, which is game object. All right, so here we are in Unity, and we're starting off with a blank project and a blank scene. So at the very top here, we have a main camera and a directional light. Now, both of these are considered game objects. Just about everything within our game is going to be considered a game object. I like to think of game objects as containers that contain components. Those components will then determine what that game object can do. Now, at the very top, we have a menu that says Game Object. So if we click on this, you can see all of these are different types of game objects. We have 3D objects such as a cube, a capsule, cylinder, and so forth. We also have effects like particle systems. We have audio. We have video, UI elements, and even a camera. And all of these are game objects. So once again, these are going to be kind of like containers. So if I were to click a Create Empty, this is going to create a empty game object. And typically, this is used for, say, parenting objects together or organization. So here we have an empty game object. And every game object is going to contain one component by default, which is a transform component. So component is going to be our next term. Components are going to determine what that game object can actually do. The functionality of that game object will be determined based off the components that are applied to it. So right now we have an empty game object which just has a transform component. This allows us to move this around and place it and scale it and rotate it based off the transform component. Now if we take a look at say the directional light, this also has a transform component, but it also has a light component. This is going to allow us to shine light in our scene, adjust the type, the color, so on and so forth. So this acts as a light because of this component right here. If I were to turn this off, it's just like any other game object, like our empty game object. Now, if we take a look at the main camera, once again, we have some different components here. We have a camera component, and then we have a few others down below here that work with our camera component. This makes this into an actual camera itself. So once again, a game object will have different types of components, and those components will determine what that specific game object can do. Now, going back to our empty game object, if we click on it, we can rename this by clicking on it. I could say this is a character, and then I can add components to this. So if we take a look in the inspector over here, we can click on Add Component, and I can type in, say, Rigid Body and add a Rigid Body component. I can click on Add Component again. So if I click on this X right here within a search bar, I can then see all the components I can be applying to this game object. I can also go up to the very top here, go to Component, and see all the different types of components I can apply to this. So once again, let's add in another component. Let's go in and add in, say, Let's just add in a box collider. All right, and we can see our box collider with this green outline here. So we have a box collider and a ridge body. And we're just going to call this character. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we're going to go over our next term, which is known as a prefab. So a prefab is essentially a saved version of an object that we created that we want to use over and over again. So in this case, if I want to save this as a prefab, all I have to do is drag this from the hierarchy panel down into the project panel. So I'm just going to drag this over. Now I have a saved version of this prefab. You can see it turned blue up here, letting us know that this is actual prefab. I can then drag this from the project panel into my scene view multiple times. And now we can see that we have multiple versions of that same prefab over and over again. Now, this is one of the powerful things about using prefabs is that we can then reuse that object over and over again. But then I can go back to the original prefab and say, maybe I don't want a rigid body component on it. I can click on this gear icon and remove that component. I can then go back to the other characters in here and notice that they've all been changed in the exact same way as well. So each one of these characters is still referencing the original prefab. Now, the next term is going to be scene, and we've been working in a scene. Think of a scene as a level within our game. At the very top here, we have this Unity symbol that says Untitled. So we haven't saved our current scene. If we click on File, Save Scene, I can then save this with a specific name. So I'm just going to save this as Test Scene. 
click save and now we have a new scene called test scene so we can say that this is a scene or a level within our game i can then create a new scene let's go to file new scene and now we have a completely blank scene so we have once again a main camera and a directional light now if i add in a sphere we can go up to game object 3d object sphere i can then save this file save scene as or save scene as well now i'll just call this sphere scene now we have two different scenes now i can double click on the original test scene so whenever I'm creating my game, I can then load in these individual scenes for different levels within my game. So we have a test scene and a sphere scene. And I can double click to open these up and you can see everything has been saved within that scene. So once again, think of these as levels within your game. These can be things like a main menu scene, it could be an ending sequence, it could be a cutscene sequence, so on and so forth. So that is a scene. Now the last term is gonna be project and we kind of briefly discussed this before, but a project is going to contain everything that our game is. So we have all of our scenes within the project. So right now we're in the project panel. That's gonna contain all of our files. It's gonna contain the settings for our game. It's gonna contain things like scripts, anything that we import, all of our scenes, prefab, so on and so forth. That is gonna be our Unity project. In our next lesson, we're gonna be discussing the interface.